Hi friends and welcome back to another Paint Your Nails with me. Today I'm going to be painting my nails with this lovely Zoya Danielle that is this, I don't know, blurple, beautiful polish from last year's holiday collection, the Party Girls collection. And I'm going to be talking about some April Topic Tuesdays. So if you've missed my other uh, Paint My Nails With Me videos that I've been doing this month during Nail Miss, I have been slowly working my way through the um, Topic Tuesdays that I missed this year. So I'll link the other ones up above if you want to catch up. But today I'm catching up on April. Uh, so I already have a coat of this base coat on. This is the Nail Defense the strengthener from Orly. I talked about this in my nail products that I love from CVS. I buy this in my local drugstore. It's like $8 and it has actually changed my nails completely. I want to say I've been using it for like two months now and this is basically the only base coat that I use. All right, so my base coat's already on, so I'm just going to dive into painting my nails. And Danielle is actually an untried polish for me but I'm gonna be doing blue comparisons on my channel in January, and this one I think I'm gonna do in both my blue and my purple categories uh, because it really fits quite squarely in the middle. It's a very opaque polish. All right, so the first topic from April was your most used polishes, excluding base and top coats, which it's very smart because that was immediately where my brain went was, oh, I want to talk about my top coat, but nope, I can't. I don't think I have that many that I use often. I like to switch it up a lot. So here's the one <laughs> that I can think of that has a big fill line. This is Snow White. And it only has this fill line because I went through like a very small nail art phase. It did not last very long because I was not very good at it. Maybe I'll try again someday, but I used a lot of white in nail art and that was like one of the first Zoya polishes that I bought, so I don't know. It's not even that impressive compared to other people's fill lines. Um, I do have some polishes with fill lines that are because I bought them in D stashes and so like somebody else used them, um, but that one I definitely bought brand new and it's definitely all me. I am really impressed with this polish. It is such a pretty color and it's so opaque in one coat. Look at that one coat. Oh, it's beautiful. I love this. It's definitely right squarely in between blue and purple. This is totally unique. Okay, the second question, uh, because this is an April <laughs> topic, was top five polishes for spring. And I don't really know that I want to pull out all my favorite spring polishes. So instead, I just found four that I'm like excited to wear in spring. And they're on my rack right now. And I know I won't wear them <laughs> until the spring. So I'm just going to talk about these four. Um, okay, so, oops, I just messed up my Danielle. I don't usually like do things while I paint my nails, so <laughs> this is hard. Um, okay, so this first one is Wednesday. It's on my rack because it'll be in my blues comparison, and it's so pretty. And then these three are ones that I just, I don't know, for some reason I have just been thinking so much about these like soft greens, and I know that they're not really appropriate for the winter. I could probably do this one in the winter, but they're not really appropriate for this season. I'm more of a seasonal polish wearer than I think I want to admit. Um, so this is Society with Arbor Day. I just got this one in my Black Friday haul. So I've only had it for, whatever, like a month now or so, maybe even less than that. And it's just so pretty. Look at how bright that green is. I cannot wait to wear it. This is Kale Polish Pistachio Ice Cream, which probably I could wear in the fall too, but I just am so excited to have this one. And then this is Kale Polish Miss Kensington. So I would say those are four that I'm excited to wear in the spring, and that's a long time from now, so I'm gonna put those away and go back to my dark purple polish. I'm doing another coat over here because I kind of screwed up that side, so I'm just gonna give it one more. And just like I've done in the past, I'm gonna go do my thumb off camera because it's really hard to do it at this angle with the camera in front of me. So I think this video is gonna go up on Tuesday. I'm filming it this weekend. But I think this video is going to go up on Tuesday the 25th, which is Christmas. My family does celebrate Christmas, so I will be with my parents and my siblings. Uh, my husband and I usually celebrate with my family. We basically have the same traditions that we've had since I was, I don't know, like nine years old, which is kind of nice. So I will kind of spend Christmas Eve and Christmas morning with my family and then We'll go down to my grandma's and see my extended family for lunch slash dinner. I just totally bumped 
that. I just used my handy dandy nail polish corrector pen. This will have like lunch slash dinner with my grandmother and my extended family. And then I think we'll go see my husband's family after that. Oh so yeah, I like Christmas. It's not my favorite holiday. Thanksgiving is definitely my favorite holiday. Gifts kind of stress me out. I don't like buying gifts and I don't like getting gifts because they stress me out. So I don't know. We'll see. I did get my husband a couple really good gifts this year though that I'm really excited about. I got him a free copy of Rosetta Stone. <laughs> he has been wanting to learn Spanish for a long time and I speak a lot of Spanish but he speaks no Spanish and he works in a community that predominantly speaks Spanish and so I think he thinks about it a lot. So I got him Rosetta Stone. I don't know if he will actually use it but it was a free copy that was being given away in this like free recycling group that I'm a part of on Facebook, so it's pretty cool. I have a little bit of cleanup on my pinky to do, but not too bad. All right, and I did my thumb while I was back there off camera. Um, okay, so the next question is nail polish backups, and uh, ooh, I don't have any. <laughs> I don't have any nail polish backups. Um, I just own the bottles that I own. If I run out, I'll buy another one, but I don't, I think, feel like this really applies to people who collect indies because indie polishes, you know, they, they're only released for a certain amount of time uh, usually. And so I feel like, like with Zoya, I don't really feel the need to have backups because there's nothing that I love so much that if I were to run out of it and not have it for a couple weeks, I would cry. I don't know. I mean, maybe if Zoya goes through like a major discontinue binge and they get rid of a bunch of polishes maybe then I'll consider getting some but right now I don't need any backups um, I am doing a second coat it was super opaque but I don't know I just always do a second coat even if it's a one coater it just makes me feel <laughs> more secure you know like I'm sealing it all in I don't know this polish is absolutely stunning though I'm really excited about it definitely comment down below let me know if you've worn Danielle I'm like in awe of how beautiful I think this polish is. I'd also love to know your answers to some of these questions. If you have any backups of nail polish, I would love to hear it. It's like a foreign concept to me, but I know that a lot of people do have them. So let me know what you have. I'd love to hear it. And the last question on this one is the most expensive polish that you own. And this one, <laughs> I tried to think about how to answer this because I have one, but I didn't pay for it. I got it with a gift card um, that I won in a giveaway. So it's expensive, but I didn't pay for it. So I'm gonna include it because it is kind of the most valuable. But then I'm gonna also show you the one that I paid for that is the most expensive. So the one that I bought with a gift card and I didn't buy myself is Deborah Lippman Happy Birthday. And I actually just am gonna do a nail of the day this week on this one, so stay tuned. A little sneak peek surprise for you. So this one will be on my channel soon. And I got it, like I said, with a gift card. It's the only Deborah Lippman that I own. Deborah Lippman is vegan and cruelty free, but it's the only one I own, so. That's it, I think these retail for like $18 or something, $20 maybe, they're expensive. All right, and then the most expensive one that I own is probably this one, and this one was just a regular Zoya when it came out. This is Phoebe, it's from the Mod Matte collection, so there was like Phoebe and Mitzi and Litzy or something, I don't know, there's three of them. And there's a blue, a green, and a pink, and they're all neon mattes. And the formula, at least on this one, is crummy, <laughs> it is like so, hard to work with and thin and weird, <laughs> but the color is like absolutely stunning. And this one, um, I didn't pay that much for it. I actually bought it in a lot on eBay and the lot averaged out to like $4.25 a polish. So I actually paid a really good price for this. But if you look for just this one on its own on eBay, it can go from like up to $45. Uh, but yeah, those are, those are my most expensive ones. I'm gonna put my top coat on. This is my glossy seal. I like really need to go to Ulta and get another bottle of the Pacifica top coat. I thought about buying some during Black Friday. Pacifica did like a 20% off sale, but you know, I was like, you know what? I'd, I'll spend $9 on the top coat. I would rather save my Black Friday budget and buy polish with it. It's pretty much how I felt, which is stupid because if I'm going to use the top coat, I should have just bought it on sale. But you know, I was trying to stick to a budget. I was like, I'd rather spend 20% more later when I need it and feel like I got good polish. The Glossy Seal is really good though and I actually got this bottle for free. I got it in the, well, I got it as part of the Hollow Blue box so it's basically for free because 
that box was a really good deal. It is kind of amazing to me that we are going into the last like week of nail mist. When this video goes up, there will be only seven more days of nail mist, which is absolutely bonkers. And I am just so excited. The last seven days are gonna have some really exciting stuff in them. They're gonna have that nail of the day that I just talked about. I'm gonna finish out my like red, pink, purple comparison series that I've been working on basically since the middle of November. I'm gonna do a nail polish resolutions video where I talk about like what kind of goals I'm setting for my polish habit and for my channel and I'll also probably just throw in some like real life resolutions as well if, if people are curious about that and so yeah that'll all be up in the next week and then I think I'm gonna try and stick to a three day a week schedule in 2019 at least to start the year. So I'm gonna be doing Wednesday, Saturday, and every Sunday. I was doing every other Sunday for a while, but I'm gonna try and do every Sunday. Nail Miss has convinced me that I can do it. All right, awesome. So that is uh, two coats of Danielle and one coat of the Glossy Seal. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, I really appreciate getting to hang out with you and talk about nail polish. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe. If you're not new here, you know, say hello down in the comments. Let me know if you've worn Danielle, if you like Danielle, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.